What is up guys, my name is Jack Gardner and today I am delighted to be showing you the Amp One Mercury Edition by Thomas Bluig, which is Blue Guitar, it's the company. But essentially this thing has been probably my favorite thing to play outside of the digital world. It just, it's a strap player's dream um, or a single coil player's dream, I should say. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with Thomas Bluig, he is first and foremost, an amazing guitar player, very much in the kind of blues rock style, but he has been there and done it all in terms of gigs. Um, you know, he's done the whole pop session thing. Just so happens though, he is a tone aficionado as well, or a tone nerd, shall we say. Um, so, I mean, he's worked with all of the top amps over the years. He had a strong affiliation with Hughes and Kettner, but I believe in his collection, he's got all of the old kind of vintage Marshalls, Fenders, all these kind of things. He's basically tried it all. He's basically taken his favorite tones and turned them into this tiny 100 watt that, that's real, actually, tube amp. Now you might be thinking, how does this work? It's tiny, it's a pedal, it would fit perfectly on a pedal board. Well, essentially, we have a nano tube. These are Russian made, I believe, direct in the center of this that um, is powering it all. And believe me, it feels just like the real thing. Um, I know you've heard loads of people say that, I'm sure, in the past but this genuinely does react and respond like the real amps. At least that's how it feels to me as I'm playing. Now, maybe before we look at some tones, it's worthwhile me just walking you through what you actually get with this. Um, but let me just point out that that is definitely one of my go-to tones now. Um, the track you heard at the beginning was a tune called Serial Killer, but with a C, off of my debut release Escapades, for those of you that are interested. And yet I was essentially using the classic amp on here with the boost engaged. It's almost got that kind of like brown sound, if you like. Um, but without further ado, then let's walk through the pedal itself. So basically, if we start over here, we have three little foot switches on the bottom of this amp. Now, basically, these control um, what amp setting we are on or what channel we are on, if you like. So if we are on the clean channel and we click this, it will switch to whatever the overdrive channel is selected to over here. Um, so if I was to change that, I could move to classic, it could also move to modern over here. But for now, let's take it all the way back to the vintage. Um, so that just switches between the two. We also have a boost option here, so that just gives us a bit more girth to our tone, a bit more drive if we are on um, one of the overdrive channels. Over here, we have the reverb on or off switch. I'm gonna have this on for most of it. It was on at the beginning of the track. Um, I just am a player that feels more comfortable with that. I don't see why we should play Play super drive that's not how I like to play um, moving on then in terms of the controls here very straightforward very much just like a tube amp you have volume over on the overdrive channel you have gain and master these are separate bear in mind and then the EQ actually is working for both the clean channel and the overdrive section so bass middle treble over here we have a to um, uh, master out so I believe when it's around here we're talking about like 30 watts and as you push it, obviously it goes all the way up to 100. We also have a, this is a digital spring reverb, I believe, over on this side. Like I mentioned before, you can toggle that on and off, so you don't have to use it if you don't want to. We start up at the top of the amp, up here, then we have the input. We have an effects loop up here that can be run in series or parallel. There's a little switch on the side here, which we'll get into. We have a record out slash headphones. That's what we are using today. Um, I mean, it sounds great. It's just perfect straight into an audio interface. For those of you wondering, I am plugged direct into the PreSonus Quantum 2626. Amazing interface. Maybe we can do a review of that one day soon. We have two speaker outs, um, so 8 ohm, 16 ohm. So you can power a cab if you would like. Um, with this, you can use it just like you would a real amp, which I think is genius. You know, if you're someone that actually prefers a real cab on stage pushing air, then 
you have the option to do that. And there's a foot switch, which um, I believe you can actually get an amp one switch, which comes with many more features than just, you know, the channel selector, um, the boost and the reverb. There's all kinds of options for really going more in depth with your tone sculpting. Over on the side though, we also have even more controls. And um, there is the series or parallel switch on the effects loop, if you prefer using one over the other. And we also have a noise gate. One in the up switch is designed for metal. Um, so that's a really tight, fast gate. And um, you can have it disengaged, which we have for this one, or there is a, um, soft gate which is just if there's a little bit of noise in your signal you might want to use that i prefer just to have it you know disengaged and um, for me i think that's just a cooler sound but it's worth me pointing out then if you were to use this in a gigging situation you have that option of going straight into the desk via this record out which is exactly all of the tones you're going to hear today and um, i think it sounds wonderful there's been a million times where I've been playing gigs with maybe just a singer um, whereby, you know, I've missed a real amp or the way it responds. Um, and this kind of eliminates that issue. I can just literally take this, plug direct in. It doesn't need to be loaded down or anything like that. Um, it can just be taken straight out, straight into the desk, and you've got a lovely tone. So without further ado, I think we should actually just hear some tones. So I've got everything set to 12 o'clock over here. Um, I'm on the clean channel and this is where it sounds like with everything, you know, no reverb engaged or anything like that. Everything is at 12, so. sounds great straight away to my ears but really i'm going to turn on that reverb so let's just hear it um i have got that set quite high let's take it down a little bit maybe give myself a little bit more Straight away, that is a super usable tone to me. But let me just do some tweaking. So first, I think I'm going to give myself a bit more volume over here. And what I usually like to do in my clean tones is I boost a little bit of the mids and then a little bit of the top end. I'm a sucker for top end. Um, I like those bright kind of tones. Now, I believe this clean section is probably based off a of Fender to my ears. That's what it sounds like anyway. But yeah, let's check that. So... sounds wicked to my ears that already let's maybe boost a little bit more of that and get rid of the low end a little bit this is going to be kind of like a funk sound i guess so <laughs> Really, really, really nice. Gonna put a little bit of low end back in there, but.
really, really nice. Now you can probably hear that I'm sticking mainly to single coils, but that's just where I love it on the clean tone. I mean, we can hear a bit with humbuckers. <laughs> Now, now that you've heard the, the cleans, maybe let's take a look then at the overdrive sound. So all I'm gonna do is click this on and we are over to the classic. So if I take that back to almost like 12 o'clock everywhere, let's just hear how this sounds. So a bit flat, gains at uh, five again, 12 o'clock. <laughs> That's the kind of tone which I love straight away. Super dynamic. You know, I think this is maybe based on like a JTM 45 or something like that, or a Plexi based amp. It's just super dynamic. And yeah, strap player's dream, shall we say. <laughs> really take the picking hand down there in terms of dynamics, listen to this. Dig in. in there um, and a little bit more top a little bit less of the bass let's try that <laughs> play with that kind of sound all day. I think me and Thomas have very similar uh, taste when it comes to amps and sound really. But yeah, that is the vintage channel. Now if we move to kind of the classic sound, I guess this is based more on a more modern Marshall, when I say modern 80s kind of sound, I guess. Um, maybe something like a JCM 800, maybe. But let's just try that then. So this just has a little bit more gain. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> 
snapped the string there. But you get the idea. It just sounds lovely um, to my ears anyway. I think that just took some of my hand off. Let me get restrung and then we'll check out some more of the tones there. Okay, guys, back in the room. Can't believe that. I think it did actually take a chunk out of my um, hand. That's never happened before. It's quite a violent snap, wasn't it? Well, anyway, so what I've done is I have actually taken down the input gain a tiny bit as well because it felt like it was peaking a tiny, tiny bit. Um, but we were looking at the classic channel. So let's just hear a little bit more of this now that we've got the new string on here. <laughs> Sound and I might give myself a little bit more top end and a little bit more mid. So let's try that. favorite sounds to play with and then finally we have your more modern gain so if we were to go up here i think this is really designed for like riffing and stuff like that which is not what i am any good at <laughs> yeah not really my style but you get the idea it's essentially based for the kind of riff based stuff and if you were to use the noise gate i'm sure you could get really kind of modern metal sounds i guess it's based on you know, maybe a boogie or something like that. Really not my kind of go-to sound. I guess you could scoop the mids a little bit and maybe let's split the coils and let's see what we get. So all the gains there, if you do require it, just for me, that's not a, a sound that I would usually go for, but it's in there. But I mean, maybe let's take a look at what the boost function does. So we're gonna go back to the vintage channel, which is probably my favorite. And um, I'm gonna put some mids back in actually. And then let's just play and see the difference. <laughs> Boost engaged. It's just a little bit extra there in terms of overdrive. It feels just a little bit more compressed to me. So yeah, I hope you guys can hear that is a lovely sounding amp, perfect for single coils or the strap player. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think of it? Let me know, please, down below in the comments. I think maybe I'll make a couple more videos and show you how it could work as like a pedal platform. So for those of you who like taking real pedals places, um, this could actually act as your amp and you wouldn't really need to take an amp head with you. You know, you could bring this, put it on the end of the board um, and it's part of the pedal board itself, you know, save space. I find it fascinating that we have the technology that enables us to do this nowadays. Um, long gone are the days of taking, you know, a huge 100 watt head and cab. I mean, you can still do that if you want to do that, but I prefer to keep my back. I'm only 27. I don't want to ruin it anymore. Um, 
So yeah, let me know what was your favorite tone? What would you like to hear more of? Um, you can also use the blue box, which maybe I'll make a video on that as well. That is the um, cab simulator. So there's different options really there in terms of tone because the minute we're just using one that's built into the record out, it sounds lovely. But yeah, if you want the option of other cabs, then that might be the way to go. So guys, that is the blue guitar amp one Mercury edition. I've really enjoyed playing through this, even if I snap the string. Hope you guys have enjoyed the sounds too. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next one. My name is Jack Gardner. Till next time, cheers.